and welcome into On The Go. And of course, when you're on the go, you want to go someplace that's going to be fun. If you want to go to live theater, but you don't want this humongous, wonderful 2,000 seat auditorium, you may want to try the Cloverdale Playhouse. It's intimate, it's absolutely beautiful, it's fun, and today we are very pleased to have Catherine Taylor and Katie Mayello. Yes. <laughs> and you are two actresses that are going to be in the upcoming production at the Cloverdale Playhouse. Mm -hmm. And who would like to speak first about this? Oh, well, um, I <laughs> uh, you can go. the play is uh, Into the Woods. It's a musical. Okay. And it's uh, oh. by Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine, directed by Randy Foster. My goodness. Oh, Randy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. You guys, would you pull them out of mothballs? <laughs> I love Randy. No, I'm, you know, I, I can say that because I'm old. You guys are, I probably have socks older than you guys. <laughs> but Randy and I are old buddies from way back. And he is, apt, you know, if you want to go someplace and have some beautiful music, Randy's your guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's really wonderful. Yeah. And we're really enjoying it. We've, uh, we've been really kind of getting into this whole idea of playing around on the stage. And it's a very minimalist set, but it's really exciting to kind of see how things are already working, even without a whole lot of props and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, crazy costumes, but it's going to be really wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when, what are the dates that it's going to be? Um, the show opens on February 13th and it runs until the 23rd. It's on okay. Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays, and Sundays. Each weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay. On Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, it's at 7.30, and on Sundays, there's a matinee at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if people want to get tickets to it, how do they go about doing that? Uh, you can go online to Cloverdale's uh, website, okay, uh, and you can order tickets that way, or you can call the box office. Yeah, when you kind of Google in and do Cloverdale Play, mm -hmm. just do Playhouse and Bingo, everything will come up yes. that you need. Yeah, and, as opposed to having to remember all these da 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 dash and dash all these other <laughs> yeah. things. Um, so it, it's totally a musical, mm -hmm. and uh, now your background. Uh, actually, I am a French teacher. <laughs> well, that's good. We right. have some French songs. <laughs> no, no, not today. But um, but uh, I teach French at the Montgomery Academy. Oh. And um, right now uh, in the play, I am Cinderella's stepmother and Cinderella's mother as well. Okay. So there's kind of some delicious duality going on well, there. Isn't that with a something? Bit of <laughs> well, are you Cinderella? No, I'm not. I play Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Little Red mm -hmm. Riding Hood. Huh? Yep. These are all stories that Boy, you're familiar with. Who's the big bad? Who's the big bad wolf? <laughs> um, our friend Jonathan Connor plays <laughs> okay. the big bad wolf. Mm -hmm. Is it's he all. big and bad? Uh, on he's stage, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably a great mm -hmm. actor. Oh yeah. And, and Katie, you said you're originally from New Jersey. I am. But you are attached to the uh, Birmingham Children's mm -hmm. Theater right now. Right now, I'm in their production of Little Miss Muffet and the Lost Sheep. Oh my And goodness. I play Little Miss Muffet. Mm -hmm. Well, that's neat. Yeah, um, and it's really great um, with uh, Cloverdale and the stories at Birmingham as well. These are all stories that you're familiar with. There's, we're telling the story of Rapunzel, Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, but not in ways that you're familiar with. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's really great. teaches life lessons, um, and it's all through play and imagination. Okay. Well, and it's hitting on some themes that are also much more serious. It's really pulling some strong themes from classic fairy tales. And, you know, it really isn't a children's story. It uh, is, uh, okay, yeah. that, that was going to be my next question. Is it suitable for young audiences? or? We, we I mean, were could, really could saying, I bring my little eight-year-old and five-year-old grandchildren? We or? were really recommending kind of ten and up in the okay, sense of some okay. of the themes are heavier. All right. Um, and it's still, you know, got a lightness to it like the fairy tales. But there's some dark. I mean, it really is kind of what happens after the happily ever after. Okay. So it's and not it's done necessarily. In song. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, this is going to be kind of neat. Well, listen, it's going to be coming up right around the corner. Oh yeah. Yes. If you want, obviously, if you need information on tickets, you can always call me at my office two seven seven five thousand, or go to the website for the Cloverdale Playhouse. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a fabulous production. Great for just a great evening out. It's just it's just a mm -hmm. fabulous place. I know you'll enjoy it. And of course, the grandchildren. This is a good chance to get them exposed to the theater on a smaller level. You'll be surprised at how, they, how they'll just enjoy it. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. Best thank of you. luck. Break a leg. Thank you. I know that's the terminology. <laughs> and we'll be right back right after this.